Today I'm going to show you how you copy um, Google Classroom classes out of KnoxCountyCC.org and into your KnoxCC.org account for the upcoming school year. Um, this will copy and then I'll show you how you transfer ownership so that you can do whatever you need to make a copy of that class uh, within KnoxCC.org, but it will also copy any material, any slides, any rubrics, anything over, and you will have that in your KnoxCC.org account. And the reason that we're doing this is to get us all in one domain. In the fall, the, the students will have KnoxCC.org email addresses, so we'll all be on the same domain and we won't have to worry about you managing two different email addresses. So the best way to do this is to do this off of a desktop or a laptop. Chromebooks are a little bit tricky and you'll kind of see why here in a minute. The way I like to do it is, the way I've found it is easiest, is to log in to both accounts um, on two different browsers. So I am logged in in Firefox currently into my Knox countycc.org and I am logged in on under Google into my knoxcc.org account and I'll try to keep this straight but just follow me here. So I have a class here called Knox County Career Center EMIS 101 and don't you wish you could take that. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to go to people and I want to add a teacher. Now I'm going to add an account over in um, knoxcc.org. I'm not adding my own account because my account is an administrative account and there's some funky things with it, but this will work if you're copying from your knoxcountycc.org to your knoxcc.org account. So um, you'll be fine. So you're going to click invite and takes a second here. All right, so I've been invited, and I'm going to go over to my um, Tech PD class, and you'll see that I've been invited now. So what I want to do is, I hope I accept this. So I'm going to accept. Now, what I am at this point is I am a co-teacher with this, just like if you were to share this with um, another teacher within, within anywhere, as long as they're, of course, within the... The framework of our domains. So as you can see I have all the information however I don't own it the Knox my in my KnoxCC.org account. So what I need to do is I need to go back into my KnoxCountyCC.org account and I need to go back into people and under this technology professional development I need to click the three buttons there um, and click make class owner. All right, so it gives you a little bit of a spiel here, transfer class ownership. You'll remain the owner until the invitation is accepted. So I'm going to invite, takes a moment, and now I'm going to go back over to my Tech PD account. Confused yet? Hope not. So what you want to do is, you'll see, you'll get an email, and that email will say, of course, you see the invitation to co-teach. I've already accepted that. Now I'm trans. I got an email that says that I'm transferring the class, and it tells me exactly what it's going to do, and I'm going to respond. It says you've been invited to own the class. Well, sure. All right. So now I'm back in my class, or my class is, and I own this. So, okay, that's great. However, if I want to make a copy of this now, I'm able to click those three dots, click on copy, and say I want to make this for um, the, geez, what year is it? Uh, 2020 and 2021 school year or something. I don't know, just so we can get something out there. Now I want to show you one more thing. So once this copies over, and depending on how big your class is, 
and how much information you have within that class, the longer it will take to copy. All right, I don't have much in there, as you can see. So it's still creating the class and copying over everything. What will happen is, once this is done, we'll be able, I will be able to go into the class, okay? And don't, go, don't freak out and think, oh gosh, where's all my stuff? What you'll do is you'll go to classwork, and anything that you had created in here, you're able to open up, edit, and then have that, love pop-ups, anything that you had in there, and you can reassign those or not assign them or put whatever dates or whatever that you want to with it. This way, it will all be over into knoxcc.org. There's a lot there, I understand. However, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.